In this video, I will explain the realization of lattice structure for the given difference equation. We know that the general form of differential equation is represented as y of n is equal to x of n plus summation k is equal to 1 to m alpha m of k into x of n minus k. Let me expand this equation. I can write y of n is equal to x of n plus summation k is equal to 1 to 4. Here we can see that the highest order of the difference equation is 4. Therefore, m is equal to 4. So, I can write alpha m of k x of n minus k. Further simplifying this, I can write y of n is equal to x of n plus for k equal to 1, it will be alpha 4 of 1 x of n minus 1 plus alpha 4 of 2 x of n minus 2 plus for k equal to 3, we have alpha 4 of 3 x of n minus 3 plus alpha 4 of 4 x of n minus 4. I will call this equation as 1 and this as 2. So now comparing equation 1 and 2 I can write the coefficient of x of 1 is 1 here. So coefficient of x of 1 is represented as alpha 4 of 0 is equal to 1. Similarly, here we can see that coefficient of x of n minus 1 is 3.1. That is alpha 4 of 1 is equal to 3.1. Similarly, coefficient of x of n minus 2 is alpha 4 of 2 which is equal to 5.5. Alpha 4 of 2 is 5.5. Similarly, alpha 4 of 3 is 4.2 and finally, alpha 4 of 4 is equal to 2.3. Now, to draw the lattice structure, to realize the lattice structure, we need to calculate lattice coefficients k1, k2, k3 and k4. To realize lattice structure we need to calculate k1 k2 k3 and k4 so these are the equations used to convert direct form coefficients into lattice coefficients one should remember these three equations so now in equation A, if you take m equal to 1, that is k1 will be equal to alpha 1 of 1, that we suppose to calculate. Similarly, if you take k equal to 2, we will get k2, that is alpha 2 of 2, that we suppose to calculate. And k3, that is m equal to 3, alpha 3 of 3, that we suppose to calculate. And if we take m equal to 4, it will be k4 is equal to alpha 4 of 4. So, which is already available, that is 2.3. This is 2.3. So, already we found this. Now, let us calculate k1, k2 and k3. To get lattice coefficients in easy way, substitute. That is put m is equal to 4 and k is equal to 1 in first iteration. In second iteration, take m equal to 4 and k equal to 2. Then take m equal to 4 and k equal to 3. In equation C. So, let me substitute m equal to 4 and k equal to 1. Let m equal to 4, k equal to 1. So, here m equal to 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. That is alpha 3 of 1 that is k is 1 is equal to 
alpha m of k that is alpha 4 of 1 minus alpha 4 of 4 into alpha 4 of m minus k that is 4 minus 1 is 3 divided by 1 minus we have alpha m of m that is alpha 4 of 4 square it can be written either square like this or like this both are same so substituting the values alpha 4 substituting the values so now substituting the values alpha 4 of 1 is 3.1 minus alpha 4 of 4 is 2.3 into alpha 4 of 3 is 4.2 divided by we have 1 minus alpha 4 of 4 is 2.3 square so solving this we will get 1.529 so therefore alpha 3 of 1 is 1.529 now let me take m equal to 4 and k equal to 2 that is let m equal to 4 and k equal to 2 in equation c so that i can write alpha 3 of 2 is equal to I will get alpha 4 of 2 minus alpha 4 of 4 into alpha 4 of 2 divided by 1 minus alpha 4 of 4 square so simplifying this alpha 4 of 2 value is 5.5 minus alpha 4 of 4 is 2.3 into alpha 4 of 2 is 3.1 divided by we have 1 minus 2.3 square so solving this we will get 1.667 so now let m equal to 4 and k equal to 3 in equation 2 I will get alpha 3 of 3 is equal to alpha 4 of 3 minus alpha 4 of 4 into alpha 4 of 1 divided by 1 minus alpha 4 of 4 square square simplifying this I will get 4.2 minus 2.3 into 3.1 divided by we have 1 minus 2.3 square solving this I will get 0 0.683 considered m equal to 4 k equal to 1 k equal to 2 and k equal to 3 now let m equal to 3 that is decrease m by 1 3 and k equal to 1 then k equal to 2 in equation c so now let in first case i'll take m equal to 3 and k equal to 1 in equation c so that i can get the equation alpha 2 of 1 is equal to alpha 3 of 1 minus alpha 3 of 3 into alpha 3 of 2 whole divided by we have 1 minus alpha 3 of 3 square so therefore substituting the values alpha 2 of 1 is equal to alpha 3 of 1 is 1.529 minus alpha 3 of 3 is 0 0.683 into alpha 3 of 2 is 1.667 divided by we have 1 minus alpha 3 of 3 is 0 0.683 square solving this we will get 0 0.732 so now let m equal to 3 and k equal to 2 in equation 
C. So I will get alpha 2 of 2 is equal to alpha 3 of it is alpha 3 of 2 minus alpha 3 of 3 into alpha 3 of 1 divided by 1 minus alpha 3 of 3 square that is substituting the values alpha 3 of 2 is 1.667 minus alpha 3 of 3 is 0 0.683 into alpha 3 of 1 is 1.529 divided by we have 1 minus 0 0.683 square it gives 1.167 so now in next step we supposed to decrease m by 1 so we will consider m equal to 2 and k equal to 1 that will be the last calculation now let m is equal to 2 k is equal to 1 in equation c in equation c therefore i can write alpha 1 of 1 is equal to alpha 2 of 1 minus alpha 2 of 2 into alpha 2 of 1 divided by 1 minus alpha 2 of 2 square so simplifying this alpha 2 of 1 is 0 0.732 minus alpha 2 of 2 is 1.167 that is this value into alpha 2 of 1 is 0 0.732 whole divided by we have 1 minus alpha 2 of 2 value is 1.167 square so solving this we will get alpha 2 of 1 is equal to 0 0.338 thus we found all lattice coefficients that is k1 k2 k3 and k4 now let me draw the lattice structure this is the lattice structure as we know this is input x of n and here we have output y of n this is k1 k1 this will be k2 this will be k3 and this will be k4 we have here adder this is z inverse z inverse z inverse and z inverse this is the lattice structure thank you for watching